turn to Acts, the first chapter. You want to read with me? Your turn. Praise God. If you can read, I want to preach. I want to show you that God can and will deliver you and I. Praise God. For He'll deliver us. There's deliverance out there for us. And Jesus said in the word there, said, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. We can do it. Now we can do it. Can you say amen? We can do it. How would you read, James? Start verse first through seven. About that time, Herod the king stretched with his hand to vet certain of the church. Now listen. Today, Satan had his hand against the church. You know why you have such a hard trouble? It's Satan. It's your adversary. Working against you. Paul said that when I would do good and evil is present. Anytime, sister, that we want to do good, Satan is there trying to hinder us and to stop us from doing our thing for God. We've got to press on. We've got to shut. But we've got to keep on keeping on. Praise God. We've got to run. We can't get tired and worry, but we've got to keep on because there's a pain day at the end of the way. Hallelujah. There's a pain day. Glory to God at the end of the way. I want to see Jesus, don't you? Amen. Hallelujah. Oh, hey. He had put forth his hand. Brother, he was a bitch in the church. He would press with the saints. He had just took the sword. He had just killed James. Thank God for the sword. He had just took Peter and knocked him up in jail. So when after, thank God after the day, hallelujah, the holiday, then he was going to kill him. But let me tell you something. Jesus, God, had plans for Peter. Thank God to reap. And he killed James, the brother of John, with a sword. And because he... And because he saw it pleased the Jews, he proceeded further to take Peter also. Then were the days of unleavened bread. See, that was the days of unleavened bread. If it hadn't been for that, praise God, they would have took old Peter out and probably killed him right then. Yeah, God went away. But let me tell you something. God is just going to let Satan go so far. Brother, he can just go so far. You have four things to go.
came to Peter. You ever read it? Angel came to Peter, pulled him on the side, and told him to get up and bind on his hands and get ready. Praise God in the chapel. Fill off his hand up. Praise God. And old Peter began to march out and the angel of hell. Peter. 
He was still going to serve his God. Brother, I made up my mind since that last time I gave up. God, I made up my mind this time. I'm going to serve God. I purpose it in my heart. I'm going to serve God regardless of what comes or goes. I'm going to serve him. One time I thought, well, God, I can't get back to you. You know what happened? I said, God, I'm going to serve you. If I go to hell, I'm going to hell. I call him up on your name. Lord. Hallelujah. We've got to be determined. Praise his name. But did you know, right down here at Middlesbrough, John was there. Alan was there. Owen Jamie was there. When you're a pastor from here, went down on another pastor down at Middlesbrough, got it, and give out a message. One man give out a message, other interpreted. Brother Nate talked directly to me, the Holy Ghost. Glory to God, stood by. These people, the mouth of God, spoke to me and told me the very thing that he'd been telling me all the time. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It took God. Brother, it took the good Holy Ghost. God speaking direct to me to get me out. I thought I couldn't come back. But God had been telling me to try and to try and to try. And, and the Holy Ghost said, try. He's a great God and he's a good God. Praise his name. I mean to serve him. I want to be his servant, don't you? Praise God forever. Read James. Peter therefore was kept in prison, but prayer was made without ceasing of God. Now listen, see? That was prayer made for old Peter without ceasing. At a house. And his saints were praying. But it ain't praying in the night. Glory Peter. Glory to God. I believe today, if we see our people in trouble, I'll be with your church. Get together and begin to pray God will deliver them. Hallelujah. I seen one night. This this woman, she was a prostitute. Come and was saved. Praise God. Their friends don't never, don't never belittle anybody. Friends, anybody can be saved out of your house. Cast thy garment about thee and follow me. 
You see, wait a minute. See, Peter was between four o'clock of the soldiers, 16 soldiers. You listen to me. He was bound to change. They meant to keep Peter till morning, and they were going to kill him. But when that angel came in, brother, what he was, no Peter, told him to get up. The chain fell off. Told him to gird himself, put on his sandals. See, old Peter thought he was seeing a dream. Old Peter thought he was having a vision. But there was some people, I was some good church people back there, brother, praying. Had been praying just about all night for Peter. That made the difference. But let me tell you, when the Pete, when the old angel came in there, he drove Peter up and Peter followed him out. I, I passed probably a couple of cells and into the gate. The Bible says there was a gate and that gate opened of its own accord. And Peter let Peter out into town. How did Peter still out? Didn't know he was been, been delivered by God or by the angel until the angel disappeared. Praise God, but let me tell you, they went in, I would just tell you this, when he went on over to the, the house where they were praying, they didn't believe it. When the devil come to the door, they thought they had seen a ghost. They didn't believe it was Peter. Praise God, where are But friend, we need to get faith to believe and to pray. I believe God will heal. Brother, thank God heal me the heart he heal me. Christ was a heart uh, condition. He healed me with that from athletic foot. Praise God, he's healed me so many times. I can stand here and just keep testifying. Yeah. Hallelujah. He'll heal you. Yeah. He'll heal all these. Praise God, he'll heal me. Yeah. He'll heal every one of us. Praise yeah. God, we've got to get a hold of God. Praise yeah. God, if we can get a hold of God, God will do wonders and he'll do miracles. Yes, he will. Praise yeah. God for us. Did you remember the woman that had the issue of blood? Thirty and eight years, I believe she had it. And the Bible said that she had spent all she had. She had spent her living on it. And it hadn't helped her a bit. Praise God, whatever. We go to the doctor, the doctor, we think they help us. They help us in one way, and they hurt us in another. They'll give us a bunch of medicine that will make it will help our high blood pressure and maybe the tea and lower our blood sugar. But it has effects on us another way. Praise right. God. Right. But let me tell you something, friend. When God gets a hold of you, when Jesus gets a hold of you, when that blood, praise God, comes over your body, that cure heal us. Praise God, there'll be no after cancer. It'll be holy care and free all the way. I'm looking for the healing. Brother, there'll be no after effects. We don't have to worry. It'll be pain, pure, and holy. Glory to God. And we will know, we will know without a shadow of doubt that we're healed by the blood. Praise God forever. Now, let me tell you another thing. Thank you, Jamie. Just let me talk a while. We bow down. And worship back to that too at the music, at the sound of the music. Brother, when he marched him around, them old Hebrew boys, those Shadrach, Meshach, then a bed and go. Brother, they marched around, they did not bow to that God. No, they wouldn't. They knew their true living God, and they knew that their God would deliver them. Hallelujah. They didn't understand it. They marched them around again. They didn't. 
Brother, if we go on and die, we'll go on to glory. What were we looking at?
and ask Cain, said, just make it to me. That nobody can ask a position of anybody except you for so long. And they got the king to sign. That sounds pretty good. They got the king to sign. And you know the first thing they done? They went to old Daniel. Because old Daniel went to his house, raised his window, and prayed three times a day with his face towards the roof. Huh? He prayed three times a day. Man. They went and called old, old Daniel prayed. And that's how they brought him before the king. But the king was sad Man. about this friend. Man. But did you know the law and uh, the, uh, the Persians and the Medes couldn't be altered, they couldn't be broken. He had to do what he did. He didn't want to. But he took old Daniel and put him in a lion's den. You read the story. Hallelujah. And the old king stayed up all night, fasted all night. For Daniel. And he went early that next morning after he took Daniel in the lion's den. Called old Daniel. He said, Oh Daniel! You know what old Daniel said? He said, Oh King, live forever. God has sent his angels and not the long job. Right. Praise right. God. Right. And Daniel, God, God had God. delivered him. See what it was no exception. Praise God. God will deliver us. Went out there and killed themselves. 
three days taking it to school. You think about this, man. You think about the time that the earth slaughtered, tore it, and all of those people. Think about that. God, the saints. The only thing, what happened to us? We don't believe it. I know I don't believe him like I should. I don't stand up on the things he said. But if we serve him, brother, and the beauty of holiness, all of these benefits are ours. They belong to us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God will take care of us. Praise God. Give us a song again. Yeah, I said enough. Praise the Lord. But remember, I want to leave this with you. God will deliver you. It doesn't make any difference how hard a time you get into, how hard a place, what comes up against you. God is on your side. You cannot fail. You can't fail if we have God on our side. Praise God. Let's everybody stay. Praise God for I miss your pastor being here. I miss it. Uh, I'm glad, glad I'm here. Praise God. I'm glad that I was able to make it to church. We could be in a hospital or a wreck or something. But I'm glad I'm here with you. And you say praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I've been a sinner here. I don't know everyone. We're a sinner here today in the day of salvation. The Lord may not come.